forgot to turn on the mic. Good morning. Let's go. So, what's up, everybody? I hope you're doing well. Welcome Twitch. Welcome YouTube. Welcome everybody. Uh, basically, yeah, back on the power steering unit so basically uh yesterday we did quite a lot of work i thought that will be done like honestly it was going so freaking well uh yesterday and then uh, basically we spent most of the afternoon working on one problem uh the problem quite simple our unit at the back basically that part right here uh when we are rotating uh the steering wheel it's doing something like it's doing right now but once it's mounted inside the car so basically first half of the unit is uh fixed but uh the back has a slight rotation that we need to prevent because otherwise when it's gonna activate uh when we are we're like driving the car we're gonna hear a banging sound in the steering column which is not supposed to happen so basically we need to delete any kind of rotation on that uh, just making sure everything is staying at its place and uh yeah so that's what we are going to work on uh, this morning honestly oh let's go squad mate hawk in the chat Let's go! Sparkling heart, sparkling heart, sparkling heart, pop, 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 pop. She's just, she just has a gun with sparkling heart. Ta, 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 ta. Let's go, good morning, Hawk. Hope you're doing well. That was super cool last night. But gosh, I'm tired this morning. Holy crap, I'm so freaking tired. I will have slept for like another two hours and I was like, I need to go on the stream. I need to work on the Datsun or it's never going to be completed. When I went to work at like five, I went to bed probably before you and you started way earlier than me. That's crazy. But I mean, like you always say, Hey, I'm not sleeping, so that's fair. I'm always tired, that's my secret. So yeah, so, <laughs> so this morning I have to use my brain and the brain is like, nope, I'm out of here, nope, I don't want that. Coffee with a little blue eye kittens. A little kitty with blue eyes. That, that, that's how I need my coffee to be like super lovely, super gentle with me. I love you little kitty. <laughs> that's my way to start the morning. Oh, what was I saying? Yeah, I was saying that basically uh, we worked on that. We had quite a lot of problem uh, making that uh, work. Happy bean juice. <laughs> wow, that's the first time I hear that and that's perfect. I don't think my girlfriend will approve that message because she hates coffee. Like anything coffee related, she hates. No, not sure. Something like dessert or uh, stuff like that with coffee flavor, all good. Like cake, uh, yogurt, uh, stuff like that, no problem. However, when it comes to anything uh, made with coffee. So uh, espressos, uh, latte, depending if there's enough sugar or not, she can't, she just can't. And that's crazy, I think. Like, I'm just the coffee enjoyer uh, in here. And uh, I have quite a good uh, little machine here, so that's cool, cause uh, yeah. Otherwise, that will suck a little bit. Uh, at some point, we were just uh, having like the, the little cup, but first, it's not super environmental uh, friendly, and second of all, uh, they are okay. Like, they are not bad, but they are just okay. Now, I have a good espresso machine with uh, also the possibility to uh, steam your milk and stuff, so that's pretty awesome. I love it. Mm, coffee. So, yeah. What was that? I'm losing my uh, mind this morning. I'm like, oh yeah, what was I saying? So back on the unit, uh, I was saying basically this 
uh, right here we just need to make a racket just but yesterday we spent quite a bit of time trying to work it out uh, we came to two solutions uh, and thinking of that overnight I was like yeah I'm gonna do that one and this morning looking at it again um, maybe going to try the first one because basically one of them uh, involved quite a lot of fabrica fabrication and hacking in the car which I'm okay, but not that okay with uh, when the other one is involving uh, drilling two holes, two mounting holes, and basically uh, just making a really small bracket out of flat bar. So this is the one I think we're gonna try first. And if that one is working, that will be awesome. So uh, that one I'm talking about, we're gonna uh, keep using this thing here so uh the little adjustable bracket from uh yesterday so we're gonna make sure we have it quite extended because yesterday it seems like it was working better when it was uh quite long <laughs> that's what she said but uh <laughs> but yeah so basically we're gonna make sure it's quite uh it's extended almost to the max like let's say three quarter and we're gonna mount the unit inside the car and take a look to what we have to do uh with that basically the idea uh is to make a bracket that's gonna come in here so we're gonna have this connected uh at the back here i don't think you're, you can see it properly but basically yeah we're gonna have this connected at the back here and we're gonna have a bracket at the front coming uh towards the driver and connecting to uh the bash bar uh the the reinforcement bar under the dash uh which is basically the main structure in there so and there we're gonna bolt it twice which mean at this point it should be holding quite well uh, to its spot and in case that uh, the bar we're gonna make is having a bit of rotation uh, like a bit of flex because as you can see this is flexing quite a lot well uh, we're gonna also just weld some uh, reinforcement on top of it which will prevent uh, basically the bending from happening so this is the idea i feel like if we are solid mounting this to the car uh, with some reinforcement on that to prevent any flex at this point we're gonna be able to work it out and make sure everything is in place and also the reason I want to go with that bracket is because if needed, I can use washers to make a spacer. So if we need to rotate uh, the thing a little bit, we can either change the mounting hole position, so drill new holes or just change that. But so far with the setting we had, it was pretty good. So yeah, that's pretty much it. That's a good uh, like all around thing uh, to know where we are heading. Now you can see I have a clamp in there. Uh, basically what we noticed uh, the last time we tried it inside the car yesterday was basically that uh, the two uh, tack weld at the back of the unit uh, with the Datsun bracket was a bit uh, flexing. Well, at the end it was flexing quite a lot, which means my tack welds are almost gone. Like they are trying to break. So basically we're going to uh, just re-weld the rear and also put uh, two uh, tack welds uh, at the front right now this morning so that we can mount it inside the car without uh, having a fear of the bracket uh, just going away because that will mean uh, quite a bad bad result so yeah so let's do that first so the plan is quite simple we are first of all going to uh weld the bracket then drill uh the drill uh, the, the what's gonna be the new bracket and then after that we're gonna remount uh the unit inside of the car and after that that's maybe not a good idea uh after that we're gonna start uh cutting uh, the new bracket and make sure it is working properly oh i almost killed myself again I'm gonna look how much gas I have left on that bottle. I'm using so much lately. Oh, plenty, plenty. Because I had to refill it, but I wasn't sure how much I had used so far. So yeah, so basically, uh, with that said, 
we're gonna try that one uh, if it's working if it's working at least uh, the worst that could happen is that we're drilling two holes inside the car that won't be used at all that's okay and then uh, other than that uh, yeah other than that once those two holes are drilled uh, and everything is done we're not modifying the unit at all if it's not working we're gonna go on the other possibilities other possibilities I haven't talked about it yet but basically uh, you can just uh, don't care about that drawing it's not uh, involved anymore but uh, basically what i will do is make a full solid bracket at the back here uh, with two tabs going and bolting on both sides of the mounting point there and basically i would use a square tube to uh place it wherever i want i want in that because we have to keep in mind if i could i would use this entire uh two by one uh two inches by one inch uh metal rectangle and uh, basically right now we cannot use that just because uh, there is not enough space above the unit so I would use like a that's a three-quarter by three-quarter or a half by half I think three-quarter yeah that one's three-quarter so uh, basically I would use that to have the possibilities in fact like this to move it wherever I want inside that and weld it in place then then this will go through the metal piece coming uh, at the top and if you're not sure what I'm talking about dual side I'm talking about the black uh, pieces going uh, vertically and uh, bolting onto that uh, what seems to be aluminum uh, or galvanized metal uh, at the, that is horizontal. So right in the middle left side of the screen, uh, this is where I will put that through and weld it uh, through that metal there, uh, that metal bracket. However that's hacking the car quite a lot that's not my ideal uh, things to do so that will be super solid but uh the only thing with that is i feel like it's gonna be a pain to make it first really strong well it will be quite strong but i feel like it's gonna be a pain to work in the car with that and making sure that this bracket will be uh the like the perfect uh distance for what we need so yeah so let's just go ahead and uh, work with the one that is adjustable first and try that. So let's go. Front cam. Front cam. Boom. All right, so welding that, then moving uh, inside the car. No, uh, after that, drilling a hole into the new bracket. That's lady all for sure. I knew it. Good morning. That's enough. I'm too tired for that shit. That was better than yesterday. Hey, two morning in a row. If that's how you, well, I mean, with kids, I guess this is how you're starting your day, right? Where's my gloves? That was crazy. I almost fell to the ground. That was too insane. But that's the second morning in a row you're having like, this kind of uh, starting. Hey, good morning, Dad. Two morning in a row, and that one was not uh, bad at all. All right, all right. I'm going to weld, uh, well, tack weld what I was talking about. This is pretty neat. First of all, then I'm back to all of you. Kind of acting weird and now at the front we got stuck and 
and I'm gonna reduce the heat one step because I don't want it to fuse like crazy. Well, yes, but no. Just like that. There we go. Not the back. There we go. Boom. What's up, everybody? Comment ça va, Pepe? Comment ça va, Val? Comment va votre milieu de semaine? I never ask for that. What the hell? Je recommence donc. C'est cool, j'ai pas de classe cette semaine. Euh, semaine de lecture, tout ça. Comment va votre milieu de semaine de votre côté? J'espère que vous allez bien. Bon matin. Et si t'étais pas là hier, papa, euh, petit recap with the power steering unit, basically. Uh, we, I just re, like reweld uh, the the Datsun uh, bracket on top of uh, the Subaru uh, power steering unit. So it's going pretty well so far. And uh, right now what we are chasing is that rotation here. Like this system is not fully locking in place, which mean uh, like yesterday, and you are gonna see that in like two minutes, we managed to have uh, the unit bolted in place. It, it's working well. Uh, the weight of the entire unit is held properly in place. It's really awesome. Uh, right now, I just uh, retacked the front of uh, the bracket because it was flexing a little bit the last time we installed it. So just making sure it's not, it is not snapping uh, on us when we are mounting it. That will suck a little bit. And yeah, so basically everything was going super well. Uh, however, when we're playing... Oh no! That sucks. But yeah, so basically, uh, <laughs> that, that's, uh, sorry, that was bad. I was like, oh, that sucks. Anyway, you know, <laughs> I mean, you said we're gonna chat about it in private, so that's cool. We're gonna chat about it later on, I guess. So, uh, yeah, <laughs> what I was saying is that uh, <laughs> I feel bad now doing that. <laughs> yeah, is that we can hold everything, but when uh, playing with the steering wheel, we can hear a bumping sound at the back. So uh, that's like not ideal. So this morning, main objective is to neutralize that that rotating uh, part at the back, which is basically the main uh, motor for uh, the power steering. So, <laughs> yeah, I was like, I need to keep going on the content so I can't stay too long on, oh no, I'm sad for you, because you said we're gonna chat about it in private. I was like, okay, fair, and that was already out of my mind. But yeah, I hope it's not too bad. Like, can you still uh, drive or are you uh, are you uh, forced to do a pause for that? All right, let's mount that inside the car now. I'm gonna re-put that thing in place. So we're gonna reuse our bolt. Well, yes, I still love them, I swear. I swear, that, that, 
that, then that, 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 and that. Okay, at least you're able to drive, but that's probably not uh, really, really uh, fun. Uh, this, this. Well, wait a sec, I really need a wash on top here because this one is not going well through the lock washer. That bolt is not doing a proper job on it. So we're gonna rework that a little bit. Let me just grab a washer and for those who knows, it can be long, but there's one right there, let's go easy. Yep, that's gonna be better. The surface is making more sense. Do I really need that one? No, I don't. That's perfect there. Uh, just making sure it's locking in place. I'd love to have another one like these. Wait a sec, looking for it. Because if I have one, it will be a bit more uh, shiny and cool. And I think I have one. Yes, I do. All right, easy. Ask and you shall receive. The left hand just uh, for flasher. Oh yeah, but you know, I'm a BMW driver. I don't use that. No need to use flasher in life, right? I'll leave that for the poor. I'm joking, by the way, guys. I'm not really using, uh, I, no, I am using my flashers while driving, I swear. There you go. Poop, 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 and it's not getting out. Why is that? Shit. All right, I'm gonna have to reuse the other side then. Should have, cause it was just. I don't want to be snapping the bolt, so let's stay gentle with it. Oh, that's helping too to prevent a bit of rotation. Boom, boom. Uh, Beau français fait fort, hein, gros, gros. I just saw that the mouse almost closed the streaming app, so let's put that on the side. Grab a bit of coffee. And now let's move inside of the car. That's still hot, but not too bad. So, dual side. There you go. And just like we did yesterday, we're gonna mount that unit in place. And just make sure everything is holding together. So let's do that. Let's go like this, like that. Now we just have to hold it in place until we can screw a bolt or two in here. Now with it securized at the front, should be able to That. Honestly, how good is that? Like, 
it's working just so well in there. Honestly, if it wasn't from that rotating, it will work just fine. In case in introduction, men from both are built strong. Oh yeah. <laughs> That's the best one, <laughs> man. It's so. It, it's always that, like, we were doing way worse when we were younger, young fella. There we go, that's perfect. So th that's holding right in place, which we love. Uh, was that the good one? I don't think, no. So where's that part going there? I don't know where I put the bow up oh, right in the middle there. Let's go easy. Knew it. Too good for you. So that, so as you can see, uh, yesterday we added a little bracket there. So right now everything is in place. Now I will need to get, uh, to grab the things to lock it in place. But yeah, this is the problem we are chasing. I'm just playing with the steering wheel right now and this is bouncing. So we need to prevent that from happening at all cost. So I'm gonna lock that one, then we're gonna start working on the bracket we wanna add in place. Pump, 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 pump. Uh, gonna need the 17, maybe the 14, but I don't think so. La seule fois où j'ai sonné quand Anthony a marché, il y avait sur le top un kit qui n'utilisait pas encore la diff. Hey, also I got stuck deep down in the forest in the the ice with the river jumping the the road, and I had to walk the entire way up. C'est fou, je l'ai encore, c'était quatre roues-là, puis il fonctionne numéro un. J'ai même remis une nouvelle winch dessus dernièrement. Après avoir fait un tonneau complet avec ça. I mean, it's part of the game, I guess, right, then? All right, let's now prevent that from happening. Not the, the that rose thing, but the, the rotation here. So we need to make a bracket that's gonna be holding that right in place. So there we can weld that together pretty easily, so that's cool. However, here, we need to really make that bracket happen. So I'm gonna grab a measuring tape, make sure which, what length I need, approximately, and we should be good. J'ai oublié celle-là, yes, c'est bien de voir que je sors encore le Yamaha. Whoops. Whoops. I need to look at the transfer for the, that one. Pump, 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 pump. All right, so we're gonna need around five inches. Maybe a little bit more, cause we're gonna be twisting. So let's say five and a half. And I have a piece here that we're gonna see if it's long enough. 
it's almost six, so that's gonna be it. We're not even cutting in our new material there. We're gonna use a little bit rusty old uh, stuff, but it's not rusty rusty. It's just that I had it for a long time, but it is brand new. So front cam, front cam. All right, so the idea is to make a bracket from this that will be bolting on uh, the silver part uh, you were seeing at the middle from uh, the bolt you were actually seeing. Look at this dual side. Uh, you can see uh, where the motor, the electric motor is going. Uh, you have like right there, you have a black tube and right next to that black tube, you have uh, the bolt head in there. This is where we're gonna pin that we're gonna make a hole in the little piece of metal and bolt it right there with uh, that bolt like right under that bolt and then we're gonna try to uh, bolt that to the chassis uh, which means the silver part right next to that bolt so this is the idea so let's go and try uh, that we're gonna put that like this for the working bench to be in there uh, and dual front man i've done some crazy shit the the best one okay the the best best story so far i think is uh the one where we had a supper uh, maybe uh, two years ago, something like that. And uh, we were talking about some stuff, some uh, different stories. You know, when you're a kid, you're never telling your parents uh, instead, like, except if it's been like 10 years. And one of those story uh, was basically the fact that when I had my uh, driver license in the beginning, I was driving my mother's uh, Subaru. Uh, so all wheel drive with a manual transmission and I basically learned to drift on that car but not because they allow me to do that you know where I'm going with that and uh, at some point like I, I had one crash once before he says that but uh, the one story I'm talking about is that I was going uh, late at night at the primary school uh, in my hometown and basically right there there was a crazy layout you were able to do uh, that was getting quite close to some brick walls and uh, stuff so it was quite tricky but gosh it was fun to do I never ever ever touched uh, the wall or anything in there but I was doing the entire uh, layout like linking all my drift going it, it was kind of downhill at the same time with an R pin at a place so that, that was just awesome and and when I told that to uh, my father during that supper, well, to my parents, he was like, that was freaking you? Because he remembers that at some point uh, many years ago, he went to that exact same spot during uh, winter because he had to check over uh, for uh, he, the commercial uh, center he was uh, caring for, like he was working for. And uh, from the hill there, you could see like on the roof, see if there was any water problem or stuff like that. So he went on there and saw like just the tire uh the trace in on the snow and he was like who's the crazy motherfucker doing like crazy stuff like that like that's freaking dangerous who's that freaking kid doing that they must be super stupid and i was like that was me <laughs> that, that that was me and during that supper two years ago we connected both stories uh together after maybe 10 years that was wow that was awesome because he thought of, uh, to himself those kids are really stupid and crazy like that's super dangerous without knowing it was his own son <laughs> i love that fair that to bearing stuff Ugh. i mean it's okay i'm doing quite a lot of them uh, now well not quite a lot but a few of them uh, each year's uh, right now i'm gonna have to repair uh, my trailer 
That sucks. All right, so I'm gonna grab the bolt from here so I can see which size I'm gonna need. But yeah, that solution, I will love it because it's really easy to reach. So that will be just perfect to do. So we're gonna have a bolt in here. But yeah, not gonna lie, like seeing the face of my father, finding out it was me like 10 years ago doing crazy stunt uh, in our hometown, it, that was like priceless. That was so, so cool. <laughs> Don't do stupid things, guys. I was young and stupid. Don't do the same thing. I would say don't do the same mistake, but that was no mistake. Now I'm winning some uh, some big uh, championship and stuff, so worth it. All right, so gonna go on the workbench and drill uh, the hole in here. I'm gonna uh, punch that, just making sure it's quite centered because I don't wanna be uh, having the same issue as yesterday. Yesterday, country road, take me home to the place I belong. All right, we're getting DMC right there. There we go. That should work. That, 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 that. You can still see me, let's go. Uh, when I was eight years old, uh, my dad was giving me a video tour around the house. Next to it, uh, one day uh, he took a bump too fast and the little girl that was fly over him in front of the VTT. I remember my mom screaming at him. She saw me bleeding, crying, coming home. Oof, oof. I guess you were not ran over by the v the ETV, right? I guess you were uh, all good. I guess because you will not be there <laughs> today if it was not the case. But yeah, that was part of the things. I mean, when I was around that, eight years old, eight or 10, something like that, uh, we were doing some, uh, I don't know how they call that uh, in English, uh, trois ski, which uh, will translate to three skis. Uh, but like, uh, basically, uh, we were doing that when it was icy in uh, the, the country road, uh, literally. And like, no, it's not. It's not three wheels. Uh, oh yeah, three wheels are, but it's not three wheels. I mean, uh, it's trois ski, uh, the little sleds for kids. Uh, we were uh, bringing them with the the snowmobile or uh, the ATV, and then we were uh, sliding down uh, the road that was, cause like at my parents' place, it was like really, really steep. It was really insane. And you could re get quite a lot of, uh, quite a lot of speed and yet yeah, that one time well I basically uh, hit a big block of ice and did like two uh, full uh, flip on myself uh, which uh, finished and ended up with me bleeding from everywhere in the mouth and like uh, getting a big scars uh, well big now it's quite small but getting a scars on the a scar on the chin and stuff so yeah fun time kid stuff you know Hopefully everything's gonna be good with that one. Yeah, 
film. All right, so far that seems strong enough. We just have to remember it's just there to basically make sure it's not bending. Boom. So this right there will go right in place. We're just going to clean up uh, any debris. But yeah, so yeah, basically uh, that was quite crazy. But you see, it's not because I had a huge crash that for any reason today I'm traumatized from going fast or doing crazy stuff, right? So you just have to get right back into that and try some crazy stuff again. And that's working. So that, that's the fun part of it. Loud noise. All right, so now we have that. Let's go back inside of the car and see what is going on with that dual side. There you go. So this, that, and that, that should all go together. And yet we're just gonna have to make a little step up of this bracket, just making sure. But the angle is pretty much there. Well, I don't know if you can see it entirely, but basically we are quite close, honestly, to uh, where we want it to be. So that's cool. That's a win. Just looking where it's gonna be the easiest to uh, make it fit. And I think somewhere around here is going to be the easiest. So basically I just need in fact to bend it a little bit and twist it like that just a touch. Then we're gonna be able to reinforce it by uh, the underside of it. And that once it's in place should prevent any movement if it's bolted properly. Like once this is tight, do I have the 12 mil key again or did I bring it back there? I'll bring it back over there. Just wanna see how strong I can go on that bolt with uh, holding that in place. Hey, what's up Bloodstone? You are up, that means uh, my mood is up. Oh, that's lovely. Getting uh, them fingers in there, mate. I uh, love the small annoying stuff. Oh man, small annoying is just telling me. Like we spent so much time yesterday. Yes, it is, it is in the details. But yeah, we spent so much time yesterday working on that. And basically we just had like quite a few problems. So now we just have to figure out one thing. Cause basically right now, the unit itself is in place, but the back of it isn't locked properly. So I have two choices. Either I'm making a big ass bracket that I won't like, or I'm trying to work out. But you see that movement, this is what we are trying to cancel right now. So I just need to make sure that that bracket, once it's gonna be fixed, is not going to flex too much. So that's the thing. I'm wondering, guys, if I'm not going to... No, because there's the... Oh, I need to... Yep, so I'm gonna step it up. If I have a plier in here, I could already give it the angle, so... So let me grab a plier. I'm gonna try to give it the angle because I need to twist it on itself a little bit. That's a good plier for that. 
So basically, we just need to make sure that we are locking our uh, our setup in place. Now I went a bit too far. There you go. With that, if I'm putting pressure in there, proof of concept, it's slightly moving, but it's not bad at all. In fact, I, if I'm putting enough pressure, oh yeah, that's gonna twist on itself, right? Of course it is. Uh, but being bolted twice on this side, that will work for preventing any twisting. At least it's not banging anymore. Yeah, that's working. So let me put some mark on there and we're gonna find out up to where we can go. So we need to get that over there just a little bit higher. And then we're gonna add quite a bit of strength on it by welding some uh, vertical slice. And the engine will shake, everything will not make uh, that setup uh, noisy if it can move. Well, uh, you see, that's the thing. Uh, Right now, it's just pivoting on itself, uh, the back of the motor, and that's what uh, I'm trying to prevent. Like, it's not supposed to, it is not supposed to move. And right now, just adding that, that not even bolted, there's still a slight, slight, slight movement in there, but we're going to reinforce it to make it super strong. And at the same time, uh, what we have to keep in mind is that the fact that it's twisting just a little bit, we won't notice that. However, yeah, I'm no expert at all too. Like I was supposed, there was two possibilities. Uh, either uh, replace, uh, if you're looking over there, you have the black tube, then the motor head, then right above that, you have that bracket with the adjustable link I put in there. I was supposed to maybe replace the entire thing there and make a solid mount going up to uh, that black vertical uh, frame while linkage on top there. However, uh, that will involve quite a lot of modification, quite a lot of hacking in the car, which I'm not too keen about, like adding a tab on the side like I did, I'm okay with that, but like hacking the center of that, it feels a bit sketchy and uh, I don't feel like I'm, uh, I have the proper tool to do that first. So uh, therefore, I'm trying to use a trick I've already seen for turbos and stuff like that, where you can brace from one bolt onto, uh, now it's the electric motor head, uh, and brace it to another thing because right now the weight of the unit is held uh, in place by all the stuff so the two bolts at the front and the, that one linkage at the back however uh, there's just a bit of rotation on itself and without that bracket it was banging like it was hitting hard so i'm just gonna mark it and uh, wait like one minute or two and i'm gonna show it to you what it was doing and I said it yesterday, that might be something we're gonna be uh, revisiting at some point, so... That's for sure. So at this point, it needs to be good. So I'm just gonna do that, so I'm gonna see uh, where... Between where and where I can uh, basically move that. I'm gonna remove it, bring it to the bench, and uh, bend it a little bit. So, there you go. I could use that, right? With that, that will work perfect. And 
since I don't want to lose it, I'm just going to repin it in place a little bit. There you go. All right, it's fine. And uh, if you want to see blood, this is what we are basically chasing, okay? So I'm just going to rotate like the hub here. I'm gonna do that and you will see the movement we are uh, trying to avoid. Like the entire unit is held in place. But like the, because of the resistance of the motor itself, it has the possibility to uh, bind on itself and like twist. Yeah, well, it's the electric motor, so. Uh, it's not a holder, it's, uh, it's the electronic assistance, uh, basically. So because of, yeah, it's an electric motor for the power steering. And so because it's twisting, this is from a Subaru BRZ uh, from uh, 2012 to 2021. Uh, so this is a, quite a good unit. And reason uh, we're using that is because of that little thing here, front cam front cam there you go it's because yes i said power steering why are you going to judge me i want a power steering this is why we're going with that in the boxes over here i have a power steering uh, is that the thing uh, where you turn the wheel uh, halfway to each side and that account for the old turning axis of the wheel uh, not really uh, power steering is uh, what makes your uh, steering wheel uh, lighter to turn so uh, as opposed to turning the wheel multiple times to rotate the wheel completely uh, no 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 uh, this is basically uh, yeah, like I said, this is basically uh, for helping you uh, if you're ge getting inside a parking lot, uh, if you didn't have any power steering, the slower you're going, the heavier the steering wheel will feel, right? And uh, with the power steering, it's just making everything light for you. So this is what I'm using. I was supposed to use one from a Corvette, but however, uh, this is like a classic power steering with oil with a unit on front of the engine and everything while actually right now I'm gonna use one that is electric which means no power steering uh, pump on the engine no oil no uh, chance of leaking more space around the engine that is not supposed to go there uh, isn't that also called servo turning or servo control yes it is so uh, over here we're always saying uh, like power steering but yes the power steering is that you don't have to use all your uh, arm juice to turn the wheel it's power rod to help you yeah, and other thing. Yeah, a car without that is a nightmare and uh, it will work quite well with uh, the Corvette one. However, uh, what I had, like I bought the pump, I bought the fluid tank, I bought everything. However, you need a power steering, uh, steering rack in there and that with for the Datsun, it's like overpriced. It's so overpriced. It's uh, thirteen hundred dollars for something that needs a rebuild, basically. So uh, first of all, second of all, uh, the power steering pump from a Corvette was pulling, uh, was outputting. I think it's a eighteen hundred uh, psi of uh, pressure, which mean uh, and the one from Datsun was supposed to receive uh, twelve hundred. I think, which mean that. Five 500 PSI could have worn out the steering rack a bit uh, earlier, so like a bit faster, which mean I will have needed like a, to re find a custom pulley uh, to reduce the pressure in, the, in that. So that was a second big problem for me. Now, no fluid, no nothing, just a electric uh, power steering unit. And that, this right here is a power steering emulator like you cannot hey, there you go for Subaru and Toyota and with that only with that clicking knob there I'm gonna be able to adjust how much uh, assistance I'm gonna get from the system so basically I'm plugging that inside the system and 
I'm mounting that inside on my dashboard. And if I'm at the track and I want more uh, <laughs> big ditch, uh, if I want more uh, basically feeling in the steering wheel, I can make the steering wheel heavier. But if I'm going in town and it feels like I'm forcing against it, click, click, I can make it lighter with just a few click and uh, that's gonna work. So yeah, so that's pretty, pretty cool. Uh, that's a really insane setup. It's a bit Frankenstein because I'm going from Subaru to Datsun to Fiat to Datsun again. So that's quite a bit of a mess and that's uh, the objective this week. And uh, we just need to reduce that. And like you see, with just adding the bracket coming against the, the frame there, it was reducing like 90% of that and it wasn't even bolted. So I'm thinking that there might be a chance it's gonna work. So from there, it needs to go up. And then from there, it needs to go down. So I'm just trying to make a slight bend on that, like this, so that we're gonna be uh, basically like that. So just like this, I'm gonna try to see if I went too crazy on it, but I'm just trying to make sure uh, we are going and stepping up uh, the height here. And if this is working, then what we're going to do, let me show you, I have a bit of metal here. That's not the one we're gonna use, but anyway, uh, we're gonna basically be welding a metal tab at the bottom like this uh, on part of the bend here, which means it's gonna reinforce that. So, cause basically my main concern with that, like I was showing you guys before, is that if we're using uh, a full like flat, if we're just using a flat bracket, just like that ruler, it will tend to bend like this. So adding a little tab at the bottom, like that, prevent any kind, any chance of bending it. Like right now, I cannot bend it anymore. So this is the idea, always having a T-shape or something is just adding strength. So we need to fit that first, then we can try to uh, work it out and make it stronger. Dual side. Fabricator vibe. So right there like that and I went a bit too crazy on the bend there so let me readjust that on the bench I'm going way too high maybe by twice as much as I need so I'm gonna just repress the last one I did on the bench here let's on with uh, an attack sneaky attack of sparkling heart from Hawk Take that in your face, Bloodstone, all the love. So I'm gonna go like that instead. And do Right. I love how many people are saying just Hulk or Hulk fan, and you're like, Hulk fan 727. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> that TFG gif. That TFG face. Mrs. TFG herself. <laughs> I won't. Well, thank you, Bloodstone. That's like quite a big compliment, to be fair. Knowing that we're pretty much all coming from the same community, it's crazy for you to tell me that, to be fair.
I really appreciate it, like more than you could imagine. That means a lot. That's basically the main reason why I'm doing that on Twitch, just because I want to have fun, first of all. I want to do my projects, projects, second of all, but also like, it's cool to see people enjoying that. I'm not getting a muddy if you are. All right, see Bloodstone? Right now, I'm twisting like crazy, okay? This is what was getting us some big, big movement earlier. And now it's barely moving and it's not even bolted in place. So that's gonna be perfect. So now we just need to figure out where to first cut it. Second of all, make a hole. Oh, that's gonna be sketchy to do, right? I'm gonna probably drill a hole from the top there first. Or maybe not, maybe by the bottom there. And then we're gonna be able to weld that in place. See, this is the bending action I'm talking about. So we might go ahead. Yeah, that's... Oh my God, that's perfect. We just have a bit of bending that is acting as a spring on it. Honestly, at this point, I'm wondering if I need to reinforce that. We will, just because we can. But I don't think it's gonna be a big, big concern. We're just gonna prepare something, pack weld it in place. And then, yeah. You say that, but your sub right here. Just saying. There you go. Hey, this is how much stuff we are deleting with that bracket. That's insane. So let's cut it. Then we're gonna take a few measurements and see. Well, in fact, with just that, I might be able to drill it. Yeah, I know it was for Hawk, by the way. Uh, I'm just looking. This machine on the fly, I want to see it all, yeah. Sorry if I misgender you, uh, Hawk fan. Uh, I figured that statistically uh, you must be a woman since you did cheesecake. Wow. Wow, he said that. Wow. That was what you were waiting for, Hawk, right? Right. I haven't seen. You got a premature wow, why? What was premature in that? Wow! <laughs> I wanna see that cheesecake, by the way. Like... Fair. Fair, fair, fair. All right, let's cut that thing there. Oh, in fact, you know, oh, you know, I'm gonna do that right there. You wows at my command, so you still haven't read Doc Fan's command. Well, I wrote, I read it right after. 
and like we were talking about that wow uh, because basically I've been playing with Hawk uh, in the last uh, few weeks at Tarkov uh, from here and there uh, from time to time and she's saying wow quite often like that that often honestly it's not annoying by the way Hawk I really love it's lovely okay but I it's so lovely that I started to say it myself and my girlfriend noticed. So now every time I'm going, wow, she's like, wow, but like in a sarcastic way at my at me and I'm like, oh yeah, okay, right, you're funny. So that that's the little story uh, behind that little wow. Time to cut dual front. Well, definitely, uh, but I feel like uh, that cheesecake had a feminine touch to it. Why is everybody, like, does it feel like everybody has seen that cheesecake and I don't? I want to see that freaking cheesecake. I'm armed. I want to see that. Cooler tools, huh? <laughs> Loud noise. Voice. I'm going to look at it. I want it in my belly, that's what I want, to be fair, but yeah, fair. I want it in my discard, I want it everywhere. Loud noise. But the real question is, is it beating the cupcakes with Kraken on it? Because basically, blood, uh, the like two or three weeks ago, she made some cupcakes with a uh, freaking uh, Kraken rum, uh, like small bottle on it. That was just so beautiful and seems like really a bad plan to get wasted. Like it was basically a shot of Kraken uh, on top. Yeah, that was next level to be fair. But like not muffins, cupcakes, that's different because there's some big chunk of icing on there and that's what makes it so lovely. Uh, I'm looking for that blade over there. We're gonna smooth that and here just making sure it's rounded so we're not going to cut our finger like i did just a few minutes ago without you noticing by the way i know hawk you are aware of that i'm gonna say that more for uh blood but blood uh i just want to let you know that november 4 is going to be a big freaking ass stream okay uh basically november 4 we're gonna be uh we're gonna be doing a fundraising for uh, the kids in hospital uh, with uh, Children uh, Miracle Network and uh, I'm gonna be streaming for 25 hours straight uh, with a lot of people at my place. Uh, we're gonna try to be between 5 and 10 people playing and streaming uh, some video game stuff so just so you know we're gonna have a big ass weekend. Yeah, it's gonna be my fifth year doing 25 hours uh, for uh, the fundraising. And last year we managed to raise with just five people here, uh, we managed to raise uh, over $5,000, which uh, make us the second biggest uh, raiser for uh, the, the last year event. Uh, also, like without counting the teams with uh, like studios and companies and stuff but like as a like a independent I would say uh, fundraiser we uh, managed to finish second which was pretty awesome and this year we're aiming not at the first place because there was like a $20,000 gap but we're aiming at 700 uh, at 7,500 I think so still need to uh, make sure this is uh, still up to date but I need to talk to my team and we're gonna see that but we're going to do some crazy stuff i need to write to tfg also i would like 
to make another last year I played with TFG uh, on stream and I was giving ten dollars for every friendly extract we were getting and we ended up giving and if we were reaching ten friendly extract uh, like I need to stay alive and I need to extract with the guy uh, basically with that I was uh, over 10 and more, I was deleting my entire stash. Uh, I was level, I think, 28 or something at this point. And basically, uh, we managed to uh, get 14 friendly extract, which means I gave $140 to the charity. And also, I uh, deleted my stash, but friendly guys community uh, basically uh, like had a good thing on that because i was getting ready to sell some stuff and they were like you could put that on the flea and we could try to uh, get that and i was like that's a good idea and i was giving for like really small amount of money everything like everything was half price so everybody was trying to get that and at some point a guy was so quick and i don't remember who that was i wonder if it was not lump honestly but one guy was going so fast on the flea market for everything that at the end it was like yeah i made like basically uh six mil just with your stuff so here you go and gave five dollars to the charity that was awesome that was like the best so yeah so we're gonna try to make something i need to think of any challenge that could be cool with tfg like since the play style has changed would it be cool to come back to some friendly stuff for uh, the charity or would it be cool to try something else? That's what I'm wondering. So uh, I'm trying to think about that, but I don't have a lot of ideas. So if you do, just send it in the chat. Yeah, like going again with the pacifist and the friendly extract, that will be awesome. Like, honestly, that will be really, really cool. And uh, I'm thinking of that, like maybe yeah maybe try something like this uh but i don't know good slurk mode uh, all this cake talk uh, made me extremely baked uh, i gotta cool off good luck on Bersame. i'm not creative uh as tfg seems to uh, be an idea factory fair yeah i'm gonna write, write to him and uh see what's uh what's up and if he's willing to do that so i think he will but like who knows so yeah but yeah how the pacifist will be cool and a uh, good lurk by the way blood have a good good day so thank you for coming by and talking to me that was cool loud noise But yeah, I feel like the pacifist content could be cool. Like, he's gonna be at a point in the wipe where it doesn't matter. I don't know. I don't know if he's willing to do some full, like, hardcore pacifist stuff uh, for days and days, like he was doing. I think he's a bit bored of that. But for one stream, like a three-hour stream or something, I feel like he could be uh, down for that. Like it could be cool. I just don't know if I want to delete my stash now. <laughs> like this year, I feel like that's my best freaking. Uh, yeah, for the kids, yeah. I thought you were lurking. <laughs> but <laughs> yeah, so for the kids, I'm pretty sure he will be uh, down for that. But like on my side, what will be the challenge? I'm not sure yet. Uh, I feel like I need to think of it. I'm not sure I want to delete my stash or reset my account or something. Not the account, that's for sure. <laughs> so so yes, yeah, so I'm going to have to think about it because that's coming quite fast and that's a bit scary to be fair all right we're gonna have to drill that again let's find uh, the bolts we're gonna use for that so i had a bunch of those here let's see if anything is fitting okay bye 
together because I need to make sure we have the hardware to mount that. Like I don't need some crazy big bolts for those ones. So I might just be going around and try to figure out something that's working together. I've just got too much uh, going on uh, playing RuneScape, Brotato and uh, Friends Meet here just stream uh, while listening to yours. <laughs> Damn, what a hard day. Are you supposed to be working at the same time? If so, uh, are they looking for anyone uh, at your place? Seems like an easy job. I'm kidding. You're probably, if you are working, you're probably working just too fast for the league and that's why you have time. I got off work uh, and clock uh, in at this voluntary job, ADHD brain, I <laughs> love it. Lovely. All right, hardware. Oh, man, I'm taking so much stuff into that bus. I need to really refill that thing with even more stuff. I uh, just need a small bolt, in fact, but that's going to be hard to find, yeah? Well, this one's going to fit for sure, but that's way too long. <clears throat> that's what she said. Bear with me guys, I'm just looking for something that's gonna work in here. Like, not that thing. Oh, you heard that? <clears throat> heard what? I haven't heard anything. Someone said something? Nah, not in here. Right, we have one fit. Okay, fun story. Uh, much better than is that it? That thing up there in the ground. Oof, oof. Fun story. Every time I'm go coming across uh, one of those bolts with red paint on top, I know exactly where it's coming from. This is from my old Subaru WRX 2002. Uh, that uh, went uh, kaboom uh, f with a uh, girlfriend driving on the highway. So a uh, timing belt issue, classic. And uh, yeah, so every time I'm seeing those, I'm like, oh, that was my little Subaru, rip. I would love to have a second one. So maybe the Subaru is gonna contribute uh, to the Datsun right now. That will be sick. If I can't find another one. That's not another one. That's not fitting. That's not fitting. Yep, I basically uh, went nuts and just part up the entire car in here a few years ago. Sad moment. But that was for the best. Hey, I have two bolts matching. Well, kind of matching. Well, in fact, they might be both Subaru's uh, bolts. So I mean, that's okay, shit happens. Uh, that was the worst investment in my life, to be fair. Like, it was so cool to drive, but, but, we bought it uh, maybe in August. Uh, maybe more, no, maybe in, uh, yeah, August, beginning of August, and it died uh, the Ned, like the following April. Was it in April? Yeah, I think it was. 
April or May, something like that. So basically, uh, like maybe six months, we had the car for six months, something like that, and it went kaboom. So, and not even a big kaboom or something like, all right, let's be real. I was drifting the car, I was doing stuff like in the snow over here during winter, that was awesome, but like I'm really really easy on my cars uh, in winters, I'm not really, uh, like it never saw any cutoff or anything, for, for me a Subaru you can drift that at 3000 or three or 4000 RPM, you don't have to go higher than that, uh, and basically everything was going fine, and the only thing that happened is that the belt from the alternator for a reason i still don't know so uh, up to now uh, melted the front cover of the timing belt so during the entire winter uh, the timing belt received some salt some uh, sand and stuff they are putting on the road uh, and also water from the road inside the, uh, the cover the plastic cover on top of the timing belt which mean it worn out way faster and at some point it just snapped and it was my girlfriend coming back home 110 on cruise control uh, on the highway and the car just went puh, 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 and died so she had to pull on the side she had the good reflex to go on the side and everything she st tried to start the car back and it was not starting at all but yeah with a snap timing belt no wonder why all right, we did that, we did this. Let's find uh, what size uh, the drill bin must be. A little bit bigger than that. But yeah, it's part of the game. That one's perfect. So, so tear, much sad, so not wow. So the drill bit's gonna be that one. Pump, 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 pump. One step smaller than the previous one, which is awesome because I don't want to drill something too big in there. And then uh, we're gonna go inside the car and see uh, where we're gonna drill those holes. So yeah, I'm gonna grab the pen. The pen is still in the car, so that's awesome. So basically, oops, I put the bracket on the wrong side. Lol. But so this is the beginning this is the end there we're gonna try to make that uh, centered and we're just going to go a little bit on the inner side there so like that and a little bit on the inner side uh, on the other side there and it should be perfect and then we're gonna put it back in here mark that bar and drill that one and then we're gonna be able to reassemble everything and we should be good with that and if we are ending up that stream this morning with that problem fix that's a win because this afternoon we're starting the biggest stuff for uh getting uh the steering column done because we just need the half shaft getting out of the interior of the car to uh, make it work properly all right so with that said we're gonna need a hole in here i'm gonna uh smash it on the bench there 
so we're gonna need a mounting hole somewhere around here and we're gonna need a mounting hole somewhere around here so both of those are pretty much centered yep we're gonna be able to drill that so let's start with that one there at the top So basically I'm using cobalt, uh, cobalt uh, I think it's called like that, uh, it's pronounced like that, uh, drill bit, they are pretty awesome to be fair, I'm really enjoying those, really good quality one, so let's drill. So good. This one's working. Where did I put the bolts? I put them over here. Pump, 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 pump. Have one, is the other one on the ground? No, I don't know where I put it. Damn, that's not good. Just a touch too small. And I don't have a lot of play with that. So we're gonna have to take care of that. Making sure we're not going too far. Oh, that's the one I think, yeah, it is. I just found the other one, yay. Just clear that back there. Yep, that one's gonna work now. I will need a uh, proper like a uh, uh, column drill, uh, basically to make something more neat, more straight, but yeah. It's hard to make uh, something perfect with that. Let me clean that one. Like right now it's okay, but a bit thin on one side, but I feel like it's gonna be good for what it needs to do, but yeah. I mean, I feel like the bracket could have been like just a tiny bit uh, thicker and it would have been perfect. There we go. Scene one, take two. Bit of flube.
go. Is that one working? It will. Let's go. Ugh. There we go. It's getting a bit hot. And now we're gonna be able to mount that. We're gonna be able to mount that inside of the car and make sure uh, everything is staying in place. Honestly, I feel like I could be making an uh, even better bracket with just like welding those in there and making sure uh, everything's staying super strong because right now I feel like the side of the holes are a bit uh, tight so if I was welding those bolts in place I will be able to just go ahead and uh, drill a two hole mount that then assemble that on top that could work. Honestly, I might do that. Because right now, the only concern I have is how close to the edge the bolts are. So if I was to weld them uh, to the bracket and have that like this, I could be just pushing that in place. And that will mean uh, I just have to bolt that and then it's going through. So that will be awesome. But, and I would just have to do that yeah uh, honestly maybe we will do that that's maybe overthinking it because once it's crushed together you always want like the possibilities to uh, disassemble stuff usually but i feel like it will make it stronger because you're preventing any chance of that moving against uh, each other which is good hmm All right, we're gonna think about it because we might do it. We'll see. Gonna test that first without welding anything. So uh, just going to mount that dual side. And yeah, we're gonna mount that in place and then we're gonna uh, basically test, like mark uh, the holes we need to drill in here. And then once this is done, we're going to be able to uh, decide what we are going to do. I just feel like if I was to uh, weld them together, it will uh, make it just a bit harder to uh, properly mount that inside the car. But like I will just have to push that and then it will mean that everything is stuck in place for good. I want it to go right there in between two welding point there which mean am I on the outer edge there oh shit Good luck. yep to make it work I will need to go there that was not the plan there's one hole that's not in the right place. I didn't mark that properly. Shit. The idea was to put it like that. I could be doing just another uh, another hole next to it. Not the greatest, not the worst. That one here is okay. Let's mark that one. Right there. Gonna be removing that. Drilling that one. Drilling the new hole also and then coming back and doing the last one. No choice. Wow, 
with you. That idea is going to work definitely. It is a good one. So like that, like this. And then we're gonna fill that with welds. I think the hole we uh, messed up, we're gonna fill that with welds afterwards. So no big deal. Dual front. So I'm going back to the workbench and we're just going to proceed on doing a new hole in here. Maybe I should plug that uh, with weld right now. In fact, it's gonna be hot to handle, but there's no chance of going too far on the side if uh, I have welds in there. All right, so welding time. We're gonna put the heat on. I feel like this should be good. Gas is still open. That's dangerous, let's not do that. That, that. Like this, like that. We're gonna use that as the ground. We're gonna go and just fill it with welds. No biggies. If you're wondering, is it going through? This is where I welded. Focus. All right, it won't. But basically, uh, everything is now flat. So we're gonna be able to drill next to it without having any issues. So penetration is good, everything is reinforced again. We're gonna use that, send that a little bit, then redrill. Uh, let's do that, that, that. That's hot. Desert. All right. Loud noise. Loud noise.
that one is even better than the previous one. But I'm having good at having a bit of trouble putting all right there we go. Let's go. Exactly not what you need to do. I just dropped my belt sender on the ground. Whoopsie. All right, let's put the belt back on it. At least it doesn't seem like it breaks. The belt is gone a little bit, so. All right, so there we go. So basically, uh, I redrill a new hole in there so we can see there is a bit of welding at the bottom there, but that's gonna work. I'm confident. So we can now uh, go inside the car. I'm gonna take a drill bit that is one step bigger for that one. Just because I don't wanna be uh, drilling something wrong in the car. Like I wanna try to make it good uh, right at the beginning. On that one, I just don't want it to, I didn't want it to uh, tear like the same issue we had yesterday. Like this, like that. So I'm gonna go one step bigger for the car. And now we're gonna drill uh, the mounting hole, the first one uh, we uh, we spotted. So, and then we should be able to mount that bracket in place and it should have time to cool down. I'm putting it on the ground so that it has uh, the concrete, uh, Coolness in a place. Dual side. Dual side. Dual side. There you go. All right, so I'm gonna drill that right there. Hopefully the unit's not going to be in my way too much. It is a little bit, but I think I'm gonna be good. As long as I'm not trying to go too fast in the That's not a nice sound. There we go. So this will become our first mounting hole for that bracket. So as you can see, it's not too bad to just have uh, that kind. Oh, sorry. Sorry, Hawk. I didn't thought it would be so bad. I felt like uh, drilling, but I'm in the inside, so it's probably really, really bad. There you go, this is our first mounting spot. I'm sorry, I'm so sorry. Please forgive me. Is it still too hot? Nope, that's good. All right, let's try that in the car now. Loud noise! I really need to make that command for you guys to uh, the VIP and mods to be able to mute that when needed. All right, is it lining up now? That is the question like it should, but 
nothing sure yet. I think it will. Yeah, boy. There you go, look at this. We are getting some progression right there. Let me bolt that in place, making sure that everything does stay in place. I'm gonna grab uh, the small one. Let me grab a small one. Where did I put that there? No need that. That's too long, too short, maybe. I guess that's gonna be it. There we go. So let me try that. Then we're gonna mark that. I am afraid we're gonna have to uh, remove the entire unit so for drilling the last one, cause that's gonna be in the way. So we might have to, but that's no big deal at this point right right It is working! It is working! So the second hole is just going to be there to make sure it's secured. But basically, it is working super duper well. There we go, and that second hole is gonna be in a way better spot. So that, then we're gonna reinforce the bracket too. Just making sure everything's gonna be right on spot. So now, disassembling absolutely everything all over again. Because welcome to modifying a car, where you're gonna take your stuff in and out so many freaking times. And on that, we are just wishing that having uh, this now added in here will be a problem for later us. Adding back the dashboard and stuff. But looking at it, I don't think it's gonna be a problem, except if it was sitting on that edge. But I don't think so since there's mounting stuff in there. So yeah, should be good. That, that. Well, technically, I don't have to remove that one now. Just have to remove those two and the back there, the link. So let's do that. Would it work with, it should work with that one. Tough one, all right, I'm gonna have to dismantle that one too. Dismount. Because if I'm not, I'm not going to get enough loose for the top bracket. Yeah, that was a good idea to wait until today to work on that, to be fair. If I didn't, I would have been screaming uh, last night because I would have done something stupid. Right now, I feel like 
that's the minimal effort for getting the good result like not going too crazy and at the same time making sure everything's working great we're just going to repin that in place there then we can move that up a little bit like this and now we have that accessible and yeah we're gonna be able to weld everything now That's always scary. Cool, let's bring that out of the car. We're gonna have to drill that mounting hole right there that I can see really well. So that's perfect. And then we're gonna be good. In fact, let's put that right at the back here and drill that last hole in there. And just for Hawk, loud noise. and me chat on fire uh, are you really cooking it voice all right oh shit the voice did reactivate by itself sorry for that and i could cheesecake right now damn let's go all right so we're having just a small issue the hole is getting really close to uh something in here loud noise So I'm gonna grab another kit of a drill bit just because the top at the back is really flush to uh, the shape in there. So that's pretty, pretty, uh, that's pretty not uh, 
good. That's not exactly what we want, but we're gonna try to just open that up a little bit so that we can put uh, our washer, our nuts, and in there our nut, not the nuts, but the nut, because it's only, it is only one. I just have one nut. So yeah. Oh no, you're stuck, right? All right, there you go. So let's try that. Loud noise. Oh my God, uh, the sound of the drill is making it go from, uh, it's, I guess the butt is hearing voice with the drill. Cause I said loud noise and it went nuts. All right. I think I'm pretty much done though. So I think, or not, or not, maybe this way. Oh, this way might work actually. I have to take a look at it. Maybe on the other side like this, it's gonna work. I'm sorry, blood. I failed you. Bench. I don't think it is. I'm looking for the less. Uh... Wait for it. Wait for it. Where is it? Where's the last bolt supposed to go? Right in here. I have the net for it, but I don't have the bolt. Where's the little bolt? The red one, is that the red? Yeah, this is supposed to be the red one. Not that, not that. <clears throat> right, I guess I'm gonna have to go step outside of the car and then to come back and find it, right? We all know how it's gonna end. I'm not seeing it now. I'm gonna find it right when I'm back. But I feel like we're gonna be good with that one. Huh. Let's move. All right, where is the bolt?
How come I'm able to lose a bolt in uh, the space of like five minutes? Also, I'm gonna just take a look at another kit I have for maybe expanding that hole even more. Because that big boy right there could do the job. Because I'm just looking for more access at the top to be able to put the bolt through that. All right, I'm gonna have to find the bolt again uh, a bit later on. Swing you and try to fit that there. So this one is the one with no red, so I'm looking for a bolt with some red paint on top, remembering us of the Subaru that did live at some point. That, that. Well, you know, how would you call that? It is a nut, right? And how come? Well, this is an expression. And uh, as an English, uh, as a French speaker, my English is limited in a vocabulary, I guess. So uh, um, stop judging. <laughs> All right, loud noise. I, I, I have to, okay? I, I have to explain. I have to explain everything. So, well, no, but yeah. Okay, bye. I'm drilling now. Loud noise. There you go. Alright, so I feel like we're getting closer and closer to the objective right there. Like, now I can pretty much drop that right in place. Have everything looking pretty good in there. And drill and put the nut. Now I'm gonna, every time I'm gonna say that, I'm gonna be like, oh, freaking blood zone. So yeah, we're pretty much there. I still need to find that bolt again. Like I have no clues where I did put that. Is it on the steering? Uh, no, it is not. It isn't. Pump, pump, pump. So it's somewhere on the bottom, on the floor of the Datsun, but I can't, just can't find it, seems like. Is it around the magnet? No, it's not. Let's put the magnet outside. It's taking a bit of place. Not here, not here, not there. It's gonna be inside in a stupid place and I'm gonna be like, of course it is there.
behind that. No, that was my tool falling to the ground. No, no, no. Well, I must have taken that out of the car, I guess. The knot. The knot. That's gonna be my new accent. All right, so I think it's time for a bit of coffee because I'm looking for uh, my nuts. Well, no, in fact, it's the bolt, so the joke here wasn't really relevant. Is that you? No, it's not. Nope, nope, but might do. What the hell, how did I, oh my God, I was searching for uh, the drill bit to use, so it's maybe in here. Or it is, no, no it's not, shit. So if I had the drill bit, then I went to, here is it under oh it's right there got it reconstitution it always work so with that and now that look at this beauty boom going right in place so with that we have two holding point and do we have space at the back there to put that on top? Yes, we do, sir. So we're gonna be able to drill that in place. Now, reinforcement time. I'm gonna friend you. You're not my friend. All right, done. Or you were in the wrong chat, who knows? That, that, that. So that, that, that. Let's put that in one part of the floor, which means it's gonna be easy to find out, to find again. And then we're gonna reinforce the bracket just because we can. Details, lots on talk about that. Earlier, we need to go into detail stuff to make it work properly. So that and that, we are losing that one anyway, so we might be reusing part of that. Part of that little thing there. Or we could also use part of that front cam. Front cam. What do you mean? She doesn't like uh, people saying shit like shit happened, she preferred tabarnak. It's not really better. Oh, that's not going to be our thing. That's just because she's not used to, yeah. She, she's not used enough to uh, the proper meaning. I mean, I could argue with hosti versus uh, shit. But even there, swearing in a French Canadian is something special. Like it has different intensity and everything. Oh, she should watch uh, the, uh, the 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 swearing lesson from uh, Bon Cup Bad Cup. That's a pretty good example. That's a really really good one. So that, that, we're gonna have to. All right, so the idea here, I'm just going to make a little uh, mount there that I'm gonna be welding, just so I'm adding reinforcement in the bending uh, right there. So where it's bending, I'm gonna be reinforcing that. All right. And if she still think it's better to say, uh, to say tabarnak than uh, shit, well, that's not my argument right there. I'm not gonna argue about that. So to do so, 
I'm gonna draw because with both stuff on each side, I can draw something that's gonna work pretty well. And we're gonna be welding. <laughs> All right, so let's go ahead and draw something in here that's gonna be working. So basically I need that to be on this side, right? Yep. So I'm gonna be cutting basically a little bracket there uh, that's gonna allow us to weld like that white line there, uh, it, like you see it was broken. So I'm gonna reuse that piece there and I'm gonna be uh, doing a little, a little piece that's gonna allow us to just add the vertical uh, rigidity in this place right there. And so, I don't know if you can see it properly, boop. So basically like that. So that's gonna be mounting uh, right there. No scandal about jerk word. Next time. <laughs> Fair. But like, yeah, so basically I'm gonna be uh, cutting that and we're gonna reinforce our bracket just so it's never going to move. Cause we don't want it to move. That, that uh, buffer there. And what time is it? 55? Yeah, I think we're gonna run just a little bit over uh, noon because I want to get that done. So that this afternoon I will be working on something even better. Well, beginning of the afternoon, I feel like we're gonna be uh, welding everything in place, finalize everything, yeah. Maybe we'll stop, in fact, close to noon and then uh, just finalize everything in the afternoon and start working on the half, uh, half shaft uh, column. And uh, hey, we're getting radicals now, guys. I don't know if you realize that, but after that, we have basically uh, 12 inches of uh, steering column to do. That's gonna be uh, quite a tough job, but should be doable. And then we're, uh, we're gonna be cutting in a, like a $200 parts I order from eBay. That's, that's a bit rough, but yeah. So basically we're gonna be doing that. And then uh, we should have something connected between everything going to the steering rack. And that will be a first. So yeah, should be good. All right, cutting that now. Loud noise, loud noise. Have we lost the music? No, it's there, okay. Uh, there, there. Let me try to grab it. So the idea right there. Re! Ah, wow, wow, I just burned. I was sure it was going to happen if I was grabbing that this way, but I had to try, you know. try that and that all right so basically the idea is to add that right in the center here so we're gonna have to rework the end there but yeah we're gonna add just a little bit of metal there to make it work properly so let me try that loud noise
All right, don't try that at home, what I was doing, but yeah. Hey, there you go. So you see the gap is now closed. And basically with that, we're gonna be able to add strength in there. I'm gonna be uh, just smoothing the, the edge here. So we're gonna be able to put that even higher and more flush to everything. And with that, uh, we're just adding a piece of metal that's gonna prevent any flexibility in the, in the, in the bracket. So yeah, voice. Oh, loud noise. There you go. All right, I think voice oh it's like hey i think we're gonna be ending up with welding that in place and then it's gonna be time for launch so let me do that let me do this now it just unpin itself there you go that 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 there you go putting that on top there i'm gonna grab the cam and bring it in here oh throwing that on the ground is it still super hot no it's not perfect there we go and then let me grab the cam like that pom 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 side there you go let me try to focus on what we want yeah so you can see it pretty well even if it's not focus there we go uh, basically we're just adding that to make a bit more strength into the structure there so let me grab the welder on this one I think we're gonna be good to go full sand on that so I'm gonna go and ground my plier there and then gonna grab the welding mask, making sure the gas is open. It is turning on that. And that's gonna be allowed to cool during lunchtime and we love that. So, ready to see some welding guys. Gonna just clean a little bit the welding gun. There was too little thing in there that was annoying me. All right, let's go. There, the heat is too hot. Gonna reduce to D. We melted the side of the bracket quite a lot. So I'm gonna go and do the same on the other side, but in the There, boom. I did a little dent with the welder, hey <laughs> hey. Too much heat. I thought I would be able to, but I will have to uh, wait for it. That's, yeah, because I didn't want to just putt weld it because that's not how you're doing a proper uh, strong weld. So I full send it and that was a bit crazy, but yeah. I'm gonna try to, well, I can walk. There you go. So see this here right there uh, might not be the thing that's looking the most awesome it's not bad but uh, it's not like awesome awesome however uh, that's gonna help just giving a lot of strength to the bracket like it will prevent any uh, 
anything from happening on the band we did. So we won't start uh, on flexing and things uh, during like it's life. We could even add just a bit uh, of something there. I know it's really, really hot, so I guess the paint's not going to stick yet. It's not sticking well to the weld. <laughs> you can see it boil. Let it boil and see if it's going back to its place. Yeah, no, it's burning too hot uh, right now. Front cam. There you go. Just gonna do that. Gonna see how it's gonna end up reacting. Sometimes it's placing itself, sometimes it's not. I should have waited like a few minutes before doing that, I guess. Maybe I could just take a towel and uh, remove it, wait a few minutes, then painting it. Well, to be fair, it's not that bad one, it's washed. Dual side. Like, <laughs> honestly, it's not bad. The paint did stick to that. So we're gonna be able to just do a second layer later on. But yeah, for now, that's gonna be it. I just washed uh, the overspray that wasn't there. Boom! I know you cannot really see it because it's the, hey, there you go. Yay, good focus, good job. Well, you can see how that's gonna prevent any the flex from happening. Uh, maybe I'm gonna be just smoothing uh, the edge of the tab up there, but at the same time, if it's working, I don't think I'm gonna be removing that much material from it, so that's pretty cool. Front cam. Boom! 12.05, time to go eat something because I'm starving right now. So, the Honestly, the morning went super, super well. I was a bit afraid of uh, having problem doing that bracket. Honestly, I was getting prepared to uh, basically work the entire morning on that bracket and in the end, it wouldn't work. I was ready for that. I was expecting it to, it was like a 50-50 basically. I was expecting it to fail maybe and have uh, difficulties uh, removing that uh, rotation movement in, happening in there. But in the end, look at this, just by basic knowledge from YouTubers that are working on cars. I I'm not gonna lie, that's not something I'm used to do. That's pretty much a first thing for everything I'm doing right now. And to be fair, fitting a BRZ power steering into a Datsun might be a first in the world. I'm just saying that, like I haven't seen anything else done this way and maybe not, like I mean, maybe someone in the States uh, or uh, in, uh, in Japan is doing the exact same freaking thing as me right now and none of us are really sharing that to a huge public. Like right now I'm sharing it on Twitch, that's something, but I mean, you know, like some people might have done it, but I've never seen any information on that. So we are going like proper DIY right now and that's fantastic. Honestly, it feels so good. And yeah, everything's working great. Everything looks fine. And I think we're gonna be good uh, after lunch to finalize uh, everything. So we're gonna be welding uh, the bracket on top of uh, the Subaru unit uh, for good. Then we're gonna be uh, basically uh, welding that mounting tab we added in place uh, for good. And then after that, we're gonna be assembling everything in place. Uh, once this is done, we're gonna figure out uh, what's the plan for mounting the half shaft column uh, that's gonna go from the power steering unit to uh, the outside of the car, to the engine bay basically. And once this is done, Boom, we are closer and closer to getting our steering uh, setup done. So, pretty happy with that. Honestly, 
finger crossed that we are gonna be done uh, for the end of the week so stay tuned i'm gonna be back in about two hours so i'll see you at two and uh until then well have a good lunch take a good time take a good break and be back i'm waiting for you at two so see you guys have a good lunch bye